Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you're having a safe and awesome week. I know it's not a short. I'm doing kind of, kind of a long form video, but not necessarily very long. I have to start this off by apologizing to our friend Dirk Manning. Dirk, I know you've been waiting just like the rest of the world with bated breath for my unboxing. But uh, been super busy and just hadn't gotten around to it. I was like, you know what? I need to do this. I've read the first chapter of the book. Just hadn't had time to sit down and read it. What am I talking about? Arn Anderson, My Life is the Enforcer. Not a lot of bells and whistles per se with this unboxing. I know usually I got stickers and magnets and all kinds of things. But the one thing that Dirk does is that's super awesome is most of his stretch goals tie into the book. I did get some things though. Like, oh, this I'm with the Enforcer button. I'm hoping I can get this up to the camera so you can see it. I am terrible at doing these things, but hopefully it's an Arn Anderson pin. That is so dope. Uh, also, we got a signed book plate. And I want to say that was part of the stretch goals. It's been a while, folks. But the book plate has... Dirk Manning, Colm Griffin, Sean Daly, and Arn Anderson's signatures on it. Oh, that's so dope. So before I get into the other things about this book, I, there's something I got to bring up that a lot of people might not know about me. Uh, I was a huge wrestling fan. I'm still kind of a wrestling fan. I, I usually just watch clips and I've got some pay-per-views uh, kind of tucked away for when I have time to watch them. Uh, but when I was younger, I was all about every Saturday morning. Uh, there was a w WCW show. There was a, uh, a WWF show, as they were known at the time. And people like Arn Anderson and Ole. I always think I say that wrong. Ole Anderson, rest in peace. Uh, Million Dollar Man, Razor Ramon, Scott Hall, again, rest in peace. Just a ton of these wrestlers were a big part of my childhood. Uh, so when I found out he was getting a graphic novel, that was the second one that Dirk has done. Uh, the first one being butts and seats that the Tony Schiavone one oh, it was so great. I was like, man, I have to get this Arn, the inventor, the master of the spine buster. Yes. Totally getting this one. Uh, like I said, I've only read like the first part of the chapter, but let me show you some cool things about this. So we got that book plate like you saw. This was from Source Point Press. It was written by Dirk Manning with Arn Anderson, illustrated by Sean Daly and Colm Griffin, edited by Drina Joe, lettered by Justin Birch, head of talent relations Mike Dawkins, and book design by Dave Lentz. No surprise there. Most of the stretch goals you got things like the ribbon bookmark. I love these because I can never lose them because they're attached to the book. And then you have these awesome golden gilded pages. Like I said before, not a lot of extras like, you know, stickers and stuff like that, but a lot of good things put into the book. Uh, I can't wait to finish reading this. I had to put it down so I could do the unboxing before I, you know, got too busy to do it again. But that's super cool. I know that Dirk is more of a horror person. I noticed that I found my shirt. In fact, he's got a Kickstarter going on right now called Homestead that ends April 1st. Dirk, if there's ever a possibility for you to do more wrestlers, more legends, I'd love to see more of these books. I mean, an Undertaker, a Shawn Michaels, a 123 Kid, X-Pac, Shawn Waltman. Uh, just so many legends, so many awesome wrestlers that I think would make great comic books. But if not, if you don't, if there's never an opportunity to do it again... I'm perfectly fine with all the great stuff that you write. I I know I'm going to love this as much as, as the uh, Butts and Seats one. Uh, this was super awesome. And again, so sorry it took so long. Just know I am enjoying it so far. And I can't wait to see what you got in store next. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video today. Remember, Hydra Asylum Comics. Hydra Asylum. We're the same people, just a different name. Check out the end screen that I made. Super dope. Sean will probably have something fun for you on, and I'm probably pointing the wrong way, so I'll just do that. One of these sides. I, I can never remember. I'm not good with that. But 
If you like what you saw, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will catch you next time. Later.